What's up guys, this is Shaveen and in this video I will tell you guys how you can fix the problem that your Google Meets screen share function is not working properly on Windows. So this is a viewer's request and if you guys want any other solutions to any problems then just comment down below or email us and we'll make a solution video for you guys. Now let's begin with the video. So the first thing you have to do is open up your Google Chrome as an administrator. So just right click on your Google Chrome and then click on run as administrator and check whether that fixes your issue. If it doesn't fix your issue then we move on to the next step that is clearing your browser history and data. So just go to your Google Chrome and then click on the three dots on the top right hand corner and then go to history. Then in history just click on clear browsing data and then in basic select the time range as all time and then select browsing history, cookies and other site data and cached images and files and then just click on clear data option. Once you do this just restart your Google Chrome and check whether it fixed your problem. Another thing you can try is going on to the incognito mode on Google Chrome. So just click on the three dots and then go to open a new tab in incognito mode and then try using the Google Meet in the incognito mode and check whether that fixes your problem. The next step to solve this issue is updating your Chrome browser to the latest version. So just click on the three dots again and this time go to settings. In settings, go to the advanced tab and then go to reset and clean up. In reset and clean up, just select restore settings to their original defaults and then select reset settings. And after that select clean up computer and then if you find any harmful software in this list, just delete them. And finally, go to the About Chrome section and then here just check for any updates that you might have for Google Chrome and make sure that your Chrome is up to date. After that, just restart Chrome and check whether it fixed your problem. The next step to solve this issue is giving JavaScript permission to Google Meet to access your computer screen. So just go to Google Meet and then you'll find a log button next to the URL tab on the Google Meet page. Just click on it and then go to site settings. In site settings, scroll down until you find JavaScript and then select allow defaults for JavaScript. And in fact, while you're here, just select allow for all the permissions onto the list and then restart your Chrome browser and check whether it fixed your issue. Now, the last solution I can offer you guys in order to solve this issue is to update your graphic video drivers. So just go to your Windows search and then search for device manager. In device manager, just go to display adapters and then you have to do the following step for all the display adapters that you see in the list. Just right click on it and then click on uninstall device and then make sure that you do not select delete the driver software from this device and then click on uninstall. Once you uninstall this, then just go to the action tab and then select scan for hardware changes and your device display adapters should come back onto the list. But if it doesn't, don't worry, just restart your PC and it will automatically download it and it will be back onto the list. Once it's back, then just right click on it and then click on update driver and then search automatically for updated driver software. Now, once the process finishes, then just restart your PC and check whether that fixed your problem. If it did not fix your problem, don't worry. The next step is again going to the update driver settings and then this time select browse my computer for driver software and then let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. After that, make sure that you put a check next to show compatible hardware and then in the models list, just select the first model that you see and then click on next to install it. Then once the process finishes, again restart your PC and check whether it fixed your problem. Alternatively, what you can do is download the display adapters manually from the manufacturer's website. So for example, I have the NVIDIA MX230 graphics card. So I can just go to the NVIDIA site and then download the MX230 graphics card drivers from there. Then just follow up the setup wizard to install it and then restart your PC to check whether it fixed your problem. So this was it for this video guys. I hope this video fixed your issue. If it didn't, then just comment down below or email us your detailed problem and we can make a solution video on that as well. And if it did, then just consider giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.